once I realize it's the free tax um, weekend, I know um, registration is going to be close, so I start preparing for it. It takes all day to get it done, um, but uh, you, gotta, you have to do it. Local business owner and mother of two school-age children, Sarah Ramirez, is all too familiar with the dog days of summer. After a brief vacation with the kids, it's already time to start thinking ahead to another school year. But first, those four dreaded words on the tip of every parent's tongue. Back to school shopping. Even my uh, my preschooler, she needs backpacks and a backpack and crayons and um, pencils to go to preschool. So um, it's like a little mini Christmas for all the kids because they all get new clothes, they all get a new pair of shoes, and they get all these school supplies. Of course, utensils are much cheaper than clothes, but the school supply lists are getting longer and more complicated. Oh my goodness, all we had to do is have a big chief notepad and a pencil when we went to, when I went to school. So with my first grader, cause it's like three boxes of Kleenexes and then you need a pencil box and you need crayons and markers and um, Sharpies and erasers. And so my seventh grader, they have to wear clear backpacks. If they carry a backpack, it has to be clear mesh. So um, now I'll have to go online and buy a, a mesh backpack um, or a clear one. And Sarah's not alone. Many parents have resorted to online shopping to find what they need and compare prices. In fact, that clear backpack she was searching for, we found one on Amazon for under $10. So Sarah has a first grader, and we've got the school supply list for a first grader. Let's get shopping. I see crayons. I need, what do I need for crayons? There's a lot. It took us about 30 minutes to find everything on the list. All right, I need one composition notebook. It must be 100 count. Found the 100 count. Item, after item. Got him. After item. We've got everything on our list. We've got it laid out right here. Let's see how much money we save. We've got our total right here, $30.19. Pretty reasonable price to send your first grader to school. Probably a lot cheaper than you might think. And keep in mind, we did it all before tax-free weekend and avoided the crowd that comes along with it. In Midland, I'm Tatum Gwynn, CBS 7 News.